you know, you don't know what chocolate tastes like till you taste it. And then once you taste it, you, you've tagged it now. Your, your brain knows what that is and you'll move toward it when you see it, right? You'll just like, it almost feels like, well, I was naturally supposed to move toward chocolate because chocolate makes me feel that way. But it's not natural. You can not have chocolate for your entire life and probably be fine because you have other things that are pleasurable. You know what I mean? So your first experiences with pleasure are the things that are, are really important. If female rats, for example, have their first experiences in a chamber that doesn't give them pleasure, that doesn't allow them to, say, control the initiation and the rate of copulation with a male, which they really like to do, and when they can do it, they really like it, well, then they don't like it, right? And if you give them enough experience that way, you could even put them into a chamber that allows them to do that, but then they show a lot of fighting. They show a lot of, of rejection responses. Like it's like, oh God, this again, I'm not into it. Whereas if mm. their first experiences are quite pleasurable, then they are into it. And in fact, you can put them in a less opportune chamber, for example, that doesn't let them do that, but they still like sex. It's almost like having good sex makes bad sex not less bad, but it really allows you to differentiate. Whereas if you've only had bad sex, you make an interpretation that good sex is probably still going to be bad. Right. And that, I, I think, unfortunately, I think a lot of human females have that experience. Right. And so with, with males, it's the same kind of thing. And what you can add on top of that, what our experiments have shown is that, you know, if we give a neutral odor, put that on the partner, the first experiences, you put a, uh, a jacket on the partner, for the first experiences, and then you give them a choice in an open field with two partners, one that smells familiar and one that smells different. And they work against what we think is their natural biology. Well, we hear this, oh, well, males want to pick up a new female every time. Okay. So if, and certainly for rats, that'll be true unless you make something unequal. 